Do you need to know how to replace a light switch? What a coincidence. We were just about to make a video to show you how. Come on. Like how I switched my clothes? I'm so funny. Like in our other instructional videos, we've added navigation to the top so you can easily jump around the video and find the information that you need. You've got the overview, tools you need to complete the project, and of course, the project itself. Now switches can be a little trickier than outlets because you may have noticed around your house how a light is controlled by a single switch and other lights seem to be controlled by more than one. We're gonna show you the first. We have a light controlled by a single switch and that switch needs to be replaced. As you can see, there's lots of different colors and styles to choose from when you're replacing a switch. You can really change the look of a room by changing your duplex receptacles and toggle switches to Decora style switches and outlets. Today we're keeping it basic. We're gonna be replacing this toggle switch with the switch of the same kind. Now the reason that we're replacing it is because I heard some cracking and popping the other day when I turned the switch on. Now you wanna listen for these kinds of noises coming from your switches, outlets, and lights. They shouldn't be making those noises. Those noises mean that the connections inside aren't as tight as they once were. This happens over time with normal wear and tear, it's nothing to freak out about. You just wanna replace those sooner than later. Now if you hear a consistent sizzle or smell smoke, then you can start doing some freaking out. Now while we're on the subject, make sure your smoke detectors are working properly. Go ahead and link that video up here. All right, here's the tools you'll need to replace a light switch. You need a screwdriver, like this. You'll also need um, wire cutters. You'll need wire strippers. You'll need a tester of some sort. I like this kind. You'll need a utility knife. You'll also need a light source because once you flip the lights off, it'll be in the dark. Now let's replace a light switch. Safety first. You don't want to try and replace a switch while the power's still on. So go to your main electrical box and if it's labeled, find the breaker that controls the circuit you're working on and flip it off. If it's not labeled and your light's still on, flip the breakers off until your light goes off. Remove the screws from the cover plate. Now this is actually a good time to explain that sometimes you can have more than one switch grouped together. This one has one, this one has two, this one has three. Anyway, I've seen cover plates that are painted over, so you may need a utility knife to score around the cover in order to get it off. Unscrew the top and bottom screw that connects the switch to the box in the wall. Again, if the switch has been painted over, you may want to score the paint with a razor knife so that it doesn't peel off the wall. When you pull the switch away from the wall, if you have a wand style tester, you want to go ahead and make sure that the power is turned off. Make sure you turn your tester on though. Next, you want to clip the wires off the back of the switch. Just like in the outlet video, if the wires are too short, you may want to add a pigtail to make them easier to work with. To see how to make a pigtail, click here. If you pull the outlet from the wall and it has more than two wires connected to it, you want to stop and note what wire is connected to what. Take a picture with your phone if you need to or label things with some tape. You may be trying to replace a three-way or a four-way switch. Once everything is labeled, you can take the switch off, take it to your hardware store, and they can help you get the right one. Then when you bring it back, follow the same steps we show you to reconnect everything. Just make sure you connect everything where it goes or the switch may not work correctly. At any point, if you feel like you've gotten in over your head, stop and call an electrician you trust for some help. Now when you're reconnecting the wires to the switch, on the back of a single pole switch, it won't matter which terminal you hook the wires up to, but if you're changing out a three or four way switch, it does matter which one you hook it up to. As an apprentice electrician, I was taught to hook the wire over the terminals on the screws, but manufacturers have added holes in the back so you can use those if you want. Now, once you've stripped the wire, you wanna make a hook. On my strippers, I have a hole that I use, or you can use pliers if you wish. Once your hooks are made, put them over the screws so that the hooks are bent clockwise. This way, when you tighten the screw, it naturally pulls the hooks towards the middle rather than pushing it away. You wanna tighten these screws down snug. Not to the point where you strip the screws, but tight. Electricity causes tiny vibrations, and if you don't tighten them down properly, it can become loose. And when that happens, you can get arcing against the screws, and that can become a fire hazard. 
Once your wires are connected and the screws are tightened down, you're ready to put the switch back in the wall. Just make sure that the off and the on are legible when you put them in so it's up and down so that when you turn the switch up, it comes on and when you flip it down, it goes off. Bend the wires back in the box, kind of like an accordion, and then screw the two screws in the top and bottom. Screw the screws back in the cover plate, but be careful how much you tighten them down. You could crack the plate if you're not careful. Now you're ready to go and turn the power back on and test it. Well, there you go. Even though replacing a light switch is a little trickier than replacing an outlet, with a little information and instruction, it's something you can do yourself. Just be safe, and if you ever feel like you've gotten in over your head, stop and call an electrician you trust for some help. Now, if you found this information helpful and informative, go ahead and like our video by pressing the thumbs up button down there. If there's any other electrical, plumbing, heating, or air conditioning projects you want to know how to do, leave your suggestions in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe so you get notifications when our new videos come out. Click it. It's just right there. I see it. <laughs> Have a great day. Thanks for watching. Oh, I see what you're talking about right there. Just that chunk. Can we lift it up there? You're rolling, aren't you? Dang it. I always trick me into that. <laughs> I think you need her in the background angry. <laughs> what do electricians eat for lunch? A sand switch. I, I saw a bug flying right there. Is it in the video? Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Did we turn the power off? Become a it can become a high it can become a higher hazard. Now the reason that we're changing it is because I heard some cracking and popping. <laughs> you did great, Nick. Could you see him? Don't forget to subscribe so you can get notifications when our new videos. Don't forget to subscribe so you can get new nude notifications. Good job. Thanks. <laughs>